on that. Uh, first of all, I'm very curious how you came to be involved in politics, personally. Like, how did you decide to go into politics? My political career. Yeah. In fact, I have interested in politics since 1982, okay. when I was a high school student. Right. When I read the law of 1982 citizenship law on the newspaper, mm -hmm. then I started. Even before that, before the, in 1978, once I arrived in Budidong, because in 1978 my father was get retired right. from the police officer, then we moved to Budidong. Where are you from? You're from Manda originally? Uh, originally I'm from Budidong, but since childhood we are going around sure. to the Rakhine State Townships, okay. Chokpur, Pugdanyo, Situin, etc. So with my father. Police officer, right? so, yeah. so once I, we arrived in Budidong in 1978, yeah. I saw this is refugee influx in 1978 due to the Operation Dragon. Yeah. We call it the Nagamin Operation. Yeah. Yeah. So, but by that time I was a kid. Because yeah. they were kicking everyone from further south. Yeah, I was a kid. But I saw several things. I saw several people came to my father and explained how they are suffering and etc. Then again in 82 I saw the law in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. I am very interested, but just interested. And then I'm studying in, in 82, I, 83, I joined this Rangon Institute of Technology, okay. which is the original place for 88 generation. Right, right, that's true. I am a real, genuine 88 generation. <laughs> but today, when we see a lot of 88 generations, sometimes I don't know. Sure. Menko 9, yes. Sure. It's just, uh, I read Menko 9's felicitation in Mondo public speech. I really represent Northern Rakhine State. Right. Such a controlled uh, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt. So in 1988, again, I could say I'm involved in the politics, yeah. but uh, I do want to, to what you call, be elected to, to participate sure. in the political party sure. because I didn't finish my study. Right. Uh, but my interest is already there. Then, although I am not uh, involved with political party, so my real, what you call, spirit, my eagerness started in 1994. Okay. When there is another refugee influx, something very similar to 1978. So from further south, like people from coming step. from Sitway. Then where I decided to join UNICEF. Mondo, instead of going or joining Singapore Shipyard Corporation, okay. although they offered me for a fresh mechanical safety officer post. Okay. So we can say 1994. Right. Okay. Then after that, I worked for one decade for UN. I am very much involved with this NRS activity, right. Rohingya activities, right. or these things, or all things. Then in 2008, the constitution was approved. Yes. Yeah the nationwide and 2009 uh, I have decided to join politics especially what I call my main reason is I saw there was a huge gap between our region district Bombay district and the union government right. the voices have not reached to them right. and some people who are against these Rohingya people they have been writing every day. They have been saying, Michael, talking every day. They could reach. So the voice of Rohingyas are not reached to the right. Nepiro. Right. That is my, my primary aim. Right. She said, if I involve in politics, then also at the same time, I would like to be why I joined USDB. So USDB is more what you call union party. Right. That is what you call a huge party. And also, uh, they have very strong power. Right. But uh, I'm not saying which is wrong, which is right, whatever. Right. The thing is, yeah. in my mind, I need to uh, to take care of these people. Mm -hmm. and because these people have been suffering. I saw it since my childhood. Yeah. Yeah. 
sort of one thing realized to my mind, sort of who are making problem to them? Who are they? Yes. After the independence, yeah. Rohingya was recognized. But that was, uh, army are more involved in that issue. Because our Mayu district, formerly known as Mayu district, was ruled by them, military. Directly, yeah. So they know very much about us. Sure. But optimistically, not pessimistically. So since they rule our, so they know all the things. Right. So this is something that I, I wanted to ask. I mean, so 1982, theoretically, you would have been stripped of your citizenship. How do you still have your citizenship? And how are you able to do what you do? My citizenship? Yeah. So my citizenship I obtained very officially. Okay. It took, it took about seven years. Because in but you 19... Had, you had to get it again. In 1990, yes. all NRC holder are replaced with the citizenship card, right. except these Rohingya people. But this is one thing very, very, very important. Some Rohingya who are living in NRS, there's no, no option, no way. Right. But since we have been living in Yango, in Yango they have not that much strength. Sure, they go like a, the normal standard. For me to apply for the citizenship, but the requirement is only three requirements. My parents, I mean my father's NRC card, my mother's and mine. Right. So I submit with a uh, family tree. The check, the source, also the, all our numbers we are recorded right. in their okay. medical archive. Then the issue was citizenship. So but you were stripped of your citizenship, it was taken away from you. They did take it away at one point. When? I'm saying 82. Oh, yeah, that is very tricky. In 82 law, I think, did not take away our citizenship. No, but, yeah, so how, so what did it do? Yeah, that's why I think, if, I don't explain to you, Please you, you, do, you yeah. will not know that. I'm very curious, yeah. 19th, we have three citizenship law okay. in Myanmar. Okay. Two in 1948, one in 82. Sure. 1948, January 4, we call Citizenship Act. Second one is 1948 Citizenship Election Act, May 3, 3rd May 1948. So according to Section 42 of 1948 Citizenship Act, we are citizens. Right. Therefore, all Rohingyas enjoy with the citizen. Let's go and come in. So in 1960, even 1 to 66, Rohingya language was broadcasted from yeah. there. Yeah. Then, after the, in 1966, suddenly, UNE were stopping. And also, they started denial of Rohingya. Right. Then, in 73, they changed our name by themselves to Bengali. Sure. And before 73, it was officially Rohingya on, on Some Adi Rohingya, Adi. some are Rakhine Muslim. But, right, but it was, some it was, are Muslim. But it was, it was recognized as a... Recognized, as a, yes, a, sure, okay. sure. No problem. Even a lot of some uh, government employee ID cards. Yeah, we'd say uh, right, so right. identity cards, so many. And family list. Right. Even after that, a couple of five, six years ago, I have a number of family lists mm -hmm. because issued by because it's the reality. It's very difficult to hide the reality.